In this short video, we're going to look at how to connect flow-based components to Webflow CMS. First, let's go to Flowbase to find the perfect component. I want to add a blog section to my website, so I'll copy this one. Over in Webflow, paste your component into the designer. Let's create a new collection and start adding some fields. Looking at my component, I can see that each blog post has a name, slug, short description, thumbnail, author avatar, author name, and average read time. Depending on the component you've selected, the fields you add will be different. Once we've finished creating our blog collection, let's add some blog posts. Great, with everything set up, we can now start connecting our component to our collection. First, I'll add a section and a container. I'm using the same classes used in the component. Next, we'll add a new collection list to your Webflow project and connect that to our blog's collection. Since we're displaying three cards in a row, I'll set the collection list display to grid. Now copy a single item from our Flowbase component and paste it into the grid. Now it's as simple as connecting the fields to the relevant CMS field. For example, the image should be connected to thumbnail. Click publish and view your live site. Just like that, you have connected a Flowbase component to Webflow CMS.